Hey everyone, welcome back. We have some more stimulus updates for you today on Friday, July 3rd. And you can see I have my headphones already, so you know we're going straight to the clips. I know most of you really are just concerned, am I gonna be able to get some more money? Am I gonna get another check? If we are, am I a part of the group that's gonna get it? And when is it gonna happen? And what I'm trying to do for you guys is just put the information and the data together for you from the leaders who are a part of constructing these things and designing them. And so yesterday I showed you Trump's interview with Fox Business and how he was saying, yes, we want more direct payments. He was even signaling more money to the American people, but a little bit questionable. I think that he's talking about payroll tax cuts. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. And today, what I want to do is show you two more leaders who yesterday had press conferences and news conferences. We're talking about Steven Mnuchin, who is the Secretary of the Treasury, and we're talking about Larry Kudlow, who is one of the top economic advisors to Donald Trump. And I want to use what they said to further Further give you data which shows it is likely that you will get another payment, another check in your account, probably sometime in August. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first person we're going to be looking at is Steven Mnuchin in this press conference that he had. We're going to go to clip one here. Uh, there are going to be a number of businesses that are particularly hard hit, and we'll be looking to give those businesses additional money. So CARES 4 will be much more targeted for the businesses that continue to need work, but there, there is. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it right there. Now, yesterday, there was a lot of people when I was looking at these clips, didn't really want me to stop them so much. And so what I do is I leave the entire link below. If you want to look at the entire press conference, you can. It was about a half an hour long. I'm just stopping those clips that I think are most important. And right here, Steven Mnuchin said, the stimulus going forward cares for for businesses is going to be more targeted. I've been letting you guys know that they're going to be using this targeted word since June 1st, and they are. So businesses are more targeted. But what about the American people? What does the Secretary of the Treasury say about getting more checks to the American people. We're going to go to the second clip. In the back, yes. Mr. Secretary, why is the Treasury Department on sending stimulus check to mixed status families? There's a lawsuit that was allowed to proceed. Are you guys going to be doing that anytime soon? Or you're going to leave it to the courts to decide whether the Treasury Department has to do it? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. What, what's the question on stimulus checks? Mixed status families, so parents of, undoc of uh, um, American citizen ch children, uh, people who are married uh, to undocumented. Our, our position is that legal Americans, American citizens, should get the payments. That's our focus. Uh, if, if people are here illegally, they're not going to get economic payments. So, but, but let me just say, we're very focused on, as part of the next CARES Act, we're going to seriously consider whether we need to s put more payments and direct payments over worked very well. Thank you, everybody. Okay. So we're going to stop it right there for you guys. Steven Mnuchin says a few important things. Number one, the next stimulus checks are not going to be going out to any undocumented individuals. That's really what this reporter was looking for. But then he expanded upon it. And he said, you know, we're going to be looking at sending out more checks to the American people. It worked very well before. And this is certainly on the table. And so when I give you my updated chart numbers, which I'm going to do in just a few minutes here, that's the reason why I put that percent, the percentages I come up with. They're not just out of thin air. It's based off of the data that I see from all of these top officials. And a remark like that from the Secretary of the Treasury, who is reconfirming the same thing that President Donald Trump said yesterday, whether you agree with him or not. And then the same thing that we see from guys like Jerome Powell, whether you agree with him or not. And what we're going to see from Larry Kudlow, when you put them together, you start to get this percentage understanding of what is the likelihood that more stimulus checks are going to be sent to you and to me and to the American people. And here he is saying, once again, reiterating, yes, it worked very well. We are looking into doing more stimulus checks for the American people. It's not going to be for undocumented individuals. And this is the Secretary of the Treasury. We're going to move on to Larry Kudlow now, who is one of the top economic advisors to Donald Trump. The first clip is going to be a short 10 second clip from this press conference. And then I'm going to give you another clip when he had an interview on Fox Business. So let's go to the first one here. I would say as a general matter, these job numbers, as good as they are, uh, erasing a third to a half of those who are unemployed, there's still a lot of hardship and a lot of heartbreak in these numbers. I understand that. And uh, the Okay, I told you it's a short clip. I just like the fact that Larry Kudlow, who seems like a curmudgeon all the times, this is the 
biggest I've ever seen his heart grow. You know, like the Grinch, it grew three times. It's, it seemed like it was so hard for him to say this. I, I'm laughing about it, but it's not actually that funny. This guy, in some ways, just seems like he doesn't care about the average individual. But at least he was able to say, as good as these job numbers are, and the job numbers yesterday, they were good. But they were going to be good because people want to go back to work and they were reopening up the economy. Of course they were good. But he admits that there's a lot of hardship out there. And there is. A lot of people need help. The economy still needs help. People who are going back to work need people to go pay to go to these different places. And so he at least admits it. I like that. All right. I just wanted to show that clip first. But now he's going to get a little bit more specific to more payments to you, the American people, in his Fox Business interview. So we're going to go to that. Uh, Larry, President Trump says there will be a new payment of 1200 bucks, or at least something like that. Is this going to happen before the election? How vital is it to get more money out to the people who need it at this stage of the recovery? Well, I think it's certainly on the table, and I think it could be very important. We're looking at a lot of different options. Mm -hmm. It's all pre-decisional. The uh, president has said he wants it to be smart and effective. Uh, my guess is it has to be uh, more targeted than the uh, prior approach to the direct checks. And it's not the only policy. I mean, you know, w we may extend. I mean, there's already an extension of the PPP, which was so important to these uh, successful jobs numbers. We're looking at a payroll tax holiday uh, for the workforce. We may look at cap gains. We may look at business deductions for uh, restaurants, various entertainments, baseball games, sightseeing and tourism. We certainly want to restrict uh, some COVID-19 liabilities for businesses. So it's a large scale package and uh, direct checks are probably going to be part of them as far as the president is concerned right now. OK, I'm going to stop it right there. The last part of the interview there was the most important because he directly addressed these checks. And he says that direct checks, they're going to most likely be a part of the next package. And that's what the president wants as well. He did say earlier on when he was first asked about this, it's on the table. We're talking about it. He did say it might have to be more targeted. I don't know how direct checks are going to be more targeted. Does that mean it's only going to go to some lower income individuals? Are they going to have the same restrictions on it? So obviously in the HEROES Act, there's less restrictions on the $1,200. Like more individuals are going to get it. Dependents are going to get it. So I don't know what that means. I have a feeling it means there's going to be more targeted stimulus for going back to work. Again, I think the payroll tax cut is really on their minds right now. But remember what he said at the end there. He says directly here in the interview, it is a large scale package. Direct checks are probably going to be a part of it as far as the president is concerned right now. And so again, you put the picture together. We have the president saying, yes, we want direct payments to the American people. People. It seems like he wants larger payments to the American people. We have Steven Mnuchin who's saying, yes, it looks like direct payments are going to be a part of this. That's definitely in the discussions. It's something we're really thinking about doing and probably going to do. We have Larry Kudlow, the curmudgeon, the economic curmudgeon, saying here as well, direct payments to the American people. It's a part of the package. And as far as the president is concerned, it's going to happen. We have Jerome Powell who is saying the same thing and many other leaders. It's already written into the HEROES Act. And so then when I give you my chart here and I keep getting these questions, you know, Vin, do you think we're going to get another direct payment? You can see there that I have you, your chances of getting another direct payment at 65%. And I'm going to keep it there. That's based off of all of this data. Is it a 100% chance thing yet? It's not. It's I, I'm just taking all this information and what these people are saying and just putting it down and letting you have the most accurate number out there. And this really is. This is probably the chances right now that you're going to get another direct payment. I think it's more likely than not that you're going to see another payment. However, I do believe it's even more likely that the unemployment boost is going to continue. That's why I have that at 99% that they're going to continue it forward. Probably less than $600 though, 200 to $400 after July 31st. A lot of people said, Vin, I noticed that your chart changed up. Where did the targeted payments go to? What I did is I took the targeted payments and I separated them out. So unemployment boost is a targeted stimulus payment, but instead of just lumping it in with targeted stimulus, I gave it its own spot. And then also we have payroll tax cut. That is also a targeted stimulus payment, but I'm giving it its own spot. I think there's a 50-50 shot that there's going to be a payroll tax 
tax cut. So in all honesty, I actually think all three of these are going to be in the next bill written by the Senate. I think they're going to keep the unemployment boost going forward. They're going to lower it slightly. I think they're going to give another direct payment to you, the American people. A lot of people who are on SSI ask me, Vin, am I going to be a part of it? Yes, you are. Social Security is going to be a part of it. Veterans are going to be a part of it. Survivors are going to be a part of it. Those who are employed earning under a certain amount are going to be a part of it. I think they're going to do that. And I think they're also probably going to do a payroll tax cut as well. So if you go back to work, you're going to get another $1,200 payment and you're going to get maybe a hundred, 200, maybe 300 more dollars a month in your paycheck. If you can't go back to work, you're going to get another $1,200 payment. And if you're unemployed because you want to work and you can work, you're going to continue to get an unemployment boost. If you can't go back to work and you're not unemployed because you can't ever go back to work based off of whatever situation you have, you're going to get another $1,200 payment. I think they're going to do all of them. All right. I think every single one of these, the top three here are going to be in the next stimulus payment. And that's just based off of data. It's based off of interviews. And I want to be as encouraging as I can with you. I'm not trying to inflate any of this stuff. I'm just showing you what these guys are saying and giving you my analysis of it. The hero's pay I see is a little bit lower. I know a lot of people who have been working throughout this pandemic really are hoping that they will see some sort of a boost. The only reason I have it lower is number one, no, not too many people are talking about it. It's not really on people's minds. And also, as nice as it is to do, these people are so focused on getting individuals back to work and, and incentivizing going back to work. Giving out heroes pay doesn't really incentivize that. It's just basically giving out almost like a reward, like, thank you for doing this. Now, in my own personal opinion, I actually think that they should do it. I, I think that it sets up a precedent for the future. Say we have another issue like this in the future, right? And all of a sudden, the people who stayed working throughout this horrible pandemic and stayed out there, they get almost like a reward, like, thank you for doing this. It sets the precedent that in the future, if you are able and willing to do that, that you are going to be taken care of. And I think that's important. And I think that that is an important incentive. So I wish this number was higher than 35%. I hope that more people start talking about it and seeing how they can get some money to individuals in these hazardous conditions that continue to work throughout the pandemic. But right now, 35%, I'm just trying to be realistic. And recurring payments, I still have at 0.1%. I don't think that that's actually going to happen. And the payout timeline, it's the same timeline as yesterday. The Senate is going to start taking up the bill uh, in the fourth week of July. They're probably going to vote and pass on it. Uh, pass the bill at the end of that week, and then it's going to go to the House. The House is going to either go ahead and just sign off on it, uh, or they're going to have a problem with it because they don't like what the Senate wrote up. But like I said before, they have to pass something. They can't. A lot of people think, oh, they're just never going to do it. They're going to go into September, October. They can't do that. It's impossible. You need unemployment. You need more money for businesses. People need help. So they, they have to pass something. So I think the House will, by the end of that week, I think the president will sign it uh, the last day of July or the first day of August. But it is possible that this can go into August 7th because they'll be in session until that point. So the president may sign it on August 7th or August 8th. All right. Just want to be realistic with you. And so with all that said, because I think there will be another direct payment to the American people, you will see your check either the second Wednesday in August, the third Wednesday, or the fourth Wednesday of August. In my opinion, that's what I see. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed all the information. If you haven't subscribed to this point, consider subscribing. This is how we do things here. We just give you the facts, the data, and the information as quickly and clearly as possible. And then I just explain my thoughts on it. We update the chart to give you the most clarity that we can. Hope you guys enjoyed it again. As always, I will catch you next time.